again, talking about the election, how much money is being spent, the stakes, the Koch brothers. Uh, the Koch brothers, uh, clearly thrilled by what happened in Wisconsin, the recall election and their role there, uh, look like they are ramping up even more. You have a piece, which I love the title, Inside the Koch World Convention. Tell me what it says. Well, this, uh, the Kochs for, for uh, uh, several years now, twice a year, have been holding these, these summits where they bring together major conservative donors with operatives from a number of groups, not necessarily only those that we immediately identify as Koch affiliated groups, but a wider network of groups in the conservative community and top dignitaries, top uh, political officials, rising conservative stars, and have these conferences where they kind of lay out some of the strategies that they'll be uh, pursuing in the coming elections and ask for money and they raise it and they're raising more and more of it so much so that they now have a goal of spending uh, about four hundred million dollars in their efforts in the run-up to 2012 at this convention in a couple weekends in san diego they could potentially uh if if the donors are enthusiastic enough rise up over that four hundred million dollar effort in a truly historic spending binge uh in the run-up to 2012. and ken i know you've done a ton with money in politics and a lot of great coverage Four hundred million from the Cokes. What are we looking at? I've seen two billion thrown out there as a price tag. Once we count candidate, you know, all all spending. I wonder, is that not too conservative at this point? Well, I mean, certainly, uh, you know, we've seen these gaudy numbers thrown out before, and there's a tendency to kind of question that, be a little bit skeptical. If you remember Karl Rove uh, in the last cycle, in late 2009, early 2010, when he was rolling out the Crossroads mm. groups, he talked about a $52 million goal. We looked at the early fundraising figures, and they weren't that great, and we started to question, is he really going to be able to hit that goal? Well, he hit it and exceeded it by $20 million. The Crossroads groups spent upwards of $70 million in the 2010 election. Those same conservative donors who spent all that money in 2010 are even more motivated this time around. So I don't know that we have really uh, fully explored how much money is going, that we appreciate how much is going to truly be spent in the round to 2012. It's a good time to own a local television station in a swing state. Thank you, Ken Vogel.